on this week's episode of the Weekly Wrap-Up, we wonder where this girl over here went. Brett. Brett. Damn it. Uh, And we also talk a little bit about uh, our curiosity surrounding Prey. Yes. Yes. Yep. Uh, Some PlayStation VR talk. Yep. The new Outlast game, and what remains of Edith Finch. Yeah. This is the Weekly Wrap-Up. Ba-dum-bum. is the Midnight Games Cast, where we record every Monday night at midnight and bring it to YouTube every Tuesday as a weekly yes. wrap-up, every Wednesday as video game true or false, and then every third day, third day, third day, <laughs> the third day of the week. But see, things just accurate. aren't right around here for a little bit of a reason. Yeah, yeah we're missing, uh-huh. someone sits over there usually. I got no one to snuggles with. Brett, right? That Brett. was his name? Yeah. Brett. Brett Zawilski. Where's, yep. he, where's he then? It's going to be a few weeks. And every Thursday is viewer takeover. As always, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your left, Jeremy King. Hello, folk. <laughs> yes, folk. <laughs> yeah, why folk? Only one person watching us? Who usually says that? I don't know. I don't know. Brett. It's Brett. It's Brett Zabulski. Brett usually says It's that. been a couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. Yeah, before we go much further, we should probably uh, address the fact that Michelle's not here. So, uh, as, as can you hear the simultaneous uh, closing of browsers oh, I know. all across the world? No boobs. Click. Right. You right. know? The, oh, the pretty girl's not there. We're not watching this thing. Right? No thigh. Click. Yeah. Uh, hey, comment below. Let us yes. know which one of us is your favorite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, it's going to be a popularity contest. Yes. Um, ooh, I'm going to make a Twitter poll. I would have shown... I would have worn the cleavage shirt. I would have drawn a skull on my chest. I, I, I would just put my dick right out on the counter for you. <laughs> I know you'd be a fan of that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, penis so, fetish. So you do have a strange obsession with cock. I love yeah, saying yeah. that for some reason. <laughs> saying cock. Um, hi, Mom. So... <laughs> The deal is is uh, is send send some love to yeah. Michelle on Twitter at yes. the second Kira ninety mm-hmm. uh, because she is not feeling well. Not and at all. It's been days, and uh, the fact that she's not dead is actually surprising. Really, and it yeah. was her birthday recently. Yeah, she uh, she was sick for her entire birthday. That sucks. Yeah, it really sucked. Yeah. Um. So uh, we miss you, and we hope you feel better. And yes. if you don't come back next week, then we're canceling the show. Yep. Yeah. Or we're just going to do it by your bed while you're hacking and fucking gross. You should see what I do by her bed normally. Oh. <laughs> or right by the couch while she's doing VR. She doesn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh yeah. verifiable? I'm not even going to I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> well, the Sony camera knows the truth. This is it sees all. It does. You should see what other files are on this camera. Right? Can you imagine the Sony camera gets hacked like they did with the uh the great fappening, as they called it, with all the celebrity oh, nude yeah. photos, except it was Sony people like slapping their wiener in the camera, or you and Michelle with the, why she's in, innocently playing VR. All this stuff just gets released to your friends list. Open this and watch it. Ooh, I was I was have a fear that like if if this channel ever blew up, all the stupid stuff I've done for the last fifteen years would come back and haunt me. Huh. But then I was like, eh, you know what? Whatever. If you if you haven't sent like thirty to seventy people dick pics, like then you're not living life properly. Oh, I've never done that. You're not living life no. properly. <laughs> All right, guys, we need to get back on track yes. because even though Michelle's not here, we do have a show to do. Yes. We considered canceling it. Yes. We can't lie. We were going to cancel it. Mm-hmm. But it just didn't feel right to leave the game cats hanging. Blank. Meow. Yeah. Meow. Meow. An unfed kitty is a sad kitty. Aw. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so uh, what do you think? Should we start this episode the way we start every episode with a little game of should we or shouldn't we? We shouldn't shart anything, Brian. We should start. Did I say shart? <laughs> you said shart. Listen, I'm super caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, we should. For, for the uninitiated, should we or shouldn't we is when we put 60 seconds up on the clock and then we put the clock up on the counter because that's the way this guy over here, Jeremy King, likes it. No sound because Brian already put his cock out on the table a few minutes ago. That's, we can share... We can share table space. Yes. <laughs> Push it over. <laughs> Draw a line down the middle yeah. with tape. Yeah. It'd be like a Peter and Greg Brady sharing a bedroom. Right? Don't cross your dick line. Wow. Do you think anyone gets the Brady Bunch reference? Oh, I don't know anymore. That's probably not yeah. a thing. How, how, well, some, some of the game cats are as old as we are. They are, yeah, actually, yeah. surprisingly. Right on. Uh, should we or shouldn't we put 
six seconds up on the clock, put the clock up on the counter the way Jeremy likes it, thump, and then uh, <laughs> and that's and that's when we have sixty seconds to tell you, the loyal viewers, whether you should or should not be watching or playing the things that we've been watching or playing. You yeah. know, ever since Michelle took over that introduction, I'm wicked out of practice. Well, it's been a while. She's been doing it for uh, four, five, six, seven, seven episodes, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, no one's really watching, especially not me. Yeah, yeah. Who would like to go first, Michelle? Fuck. Oh, sucks. Shit. All right. You want to go first? Um. Yeah. That sounds like you don't have anything to talk about. I don't, but I, I'm all right. I'll I'll figure it out. Sixty seconds. On your mark. Get set and go. So I am really considering getting prey because I really had fun with the first one and the 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 second one that new reveal trailer after it was canceled and brought back seemed really intriguing to me and that's when I put myself on media blackout of all of it. So I don't know gameplay. I don't know nothing. I, I know nothing about it. And I know the demo's out. I, I, I would like to try it. But um, I don't know. I might just see the reviews and then go for it. I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm, I really haven't dug too deep into Persona 5. So... Wait, what was the original Prey on? 360? No. Yes. Wasn't yeah. it? Original Xbox. Yeah. I forgot. Uh, no, it was original Xbox, wasn't it? And then they re-released it on Xbox 360? We don't do research here. Yeah, I don't remember. I just remember playing it. It was about six hours long, and I thought it was a pretty solid game. Nice. But too short. So, yeah. Five. <laughs> four. Three. Too two, short. It was one. too short. Perfect. Nice. I, you know, uh, we, we're living in an age where, like, like we mentioned on a podcast not that long ago, that... There's too many games to play. Oh. Uh, and so, like, when a game comes out and it's six hours long, I go, phew, I'll play that. Mm. Right? Pers- yeah. Persona, I'm, like, a few hours in, and I'm, like, not barely scratching the surface. Like, I'm and still it's in... so intriguing. I'm still story. in tutorial territory. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like, when am I going to stop being told how to play the game? It's a, it's a fucking twisted game, too. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. All right, ready? Go. On your mark, get set. Uh, go. <laughs> um, so I've been playing What Remains of Edith Finch that came out uh, this yeah. Tuesday I believe it was 20 bucks uh, it's a short game supposedly 90 minutes I thought I was about an hour in but I don't think I've uh, even come close to the halfway mark so I must be taking my time with it uh, yeah, yeah you, it's a first person adventure game you walk through this house and you're ex- you're finding out what happened to the Finch family and Nothing good happened to the Finch family. Uh, a lot of deaths. It's like 13 different stories about death. 13. And if there's ever been a game that says, Brian Paul, this <laughs> is for you, go. this is the one. Brian is the loneliest number. Yeah. Um, I've also been playing Outlast 2, uh, 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. God damn, I'm so happy this is not in VR. Oh, it is so effing scary. Oh. Uh, but I did get to a point that like uh, this, the frustration was worse than the scares. It's like you kept getting killed by the same thing over and over. And eventually you're just like, well, I'm not even scared of it. How the hell do I get around you? And two, one, zero. Uh, So Outlast 2, right now, no. Wait. Uh, Like a budget, like $15 maybe on sale? Wait till next week when I have more time to... that. I'm only about an hour in, and it's frustrating. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, But what remains of Edith Finch? Definitely should. I've been wanting to. I, I just forgot. Like you were saying, just too many games to play. You know? Now, it's really unfortunate that Michelle's not here because she bought and played a Little Nightmares. Oh, yeah. All weekend long. Yeah. And uh, the short version from the text that I've gotten mm-hmm. is, it's cool. Yeah. It's not really scary. It's creepy. Yeah. Uh, and kind of boring. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Not a terribly long game. She was really looking forward to that one. Yeah. 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 Uh, which is like too bad that my collector's edition from Amazon has already shipped and will be here. It got decent later today. reviews too, right? It did. Yeah. It did. So I'm curious to see if I feel like it's like I enjoy it more, excuse me, more than she does. She liked Knack. Uh, listen. I mean, we've all liked bad games. Eh, not that it's bad. I don't know. I never played it. Knack is awful. Yeah. She's, I liked Dark and Sky. As she's not said. to be trusted. <laughs> Dark in the Sky. GameCube. GameCube. Right on. Yeah, it's probably over there. All right, it is, actually. Michelle, are you ready? On your mark, get set, go. Well, Brian, it turns out that I played a couple games this week, too. <laughs> I played I played and reviewed Nog for the PlayStation VR. Is this a good Michelle voice? Um, I, don't, I wish I had dreadlocks. You should have them for this. So, <laughs> <laughs> I played, and it, it's a cute little kind of puzzle game made by uh, Co-op, and Double Fine published it. And... <laughs> 
and so it's, it's almost like a valley, like a Chris Valley Valley girl. Like, oh my god! <laughs> and it's uh, so it's it's kind of like playing a preschooler's puzzle game. Yeah. It's like you know those toys that preschoolers have with big knobs and things and yeah. levers and stuff they pull all over the place. Yeah, it's like playing a puzzle game with all of those components in VR. In VR, it's also available outside of VR. But move controllers or no? I just use a Dual Shock. I think that's that might be the only way to play it. Oh, all right. Yeah, and it, and it felt perfect. It's really adorable. The review should be up on the channel right now. Whoop, right now. <laughs> um, and also trivia night tonight. Really sorry. Um, the I expected to have a review ready, but oh man. The, it needs some work. There's going to be a day one Jeez. patch, from what I heard. Uh, I was told, I was told not the person who told me not to quote them about that. There's going to be a big day one patch. Yeah, uh, I can't quote them because they told me not to quote them. Okay, but I think there's going to be a big day one patch for trivia night tonight. All right, you and I tried to play. You tried. Yeah, I mean, we didn't even get a chance to try because here's what happened with our attempt. Yeah, we we went online yeah. from our respective houses, mm -hmm. both in VR, yeah. and we tried to play a game online, but we could only play a game if we had a full lobby. Yeah, right. Five players had to be playing. Yeah, which seemed really strange because if you do local co-op, which mm -hmm. I did play, yeah, you only need however many people you got. Oh, it did work. Yeah, oh. I, comrade and I played a few rounds. Nice. It's fun, but like I need to try the online component. There were certain games we couldn't even play. Okay. So hold off on Trivia Night tonight. I will have a review as soon as possible, um, but it seems like they're fixing some last-minute issues. Hopefully right. our problem was one of the issues. Yeah. Hopefully. I'd still go for it, even if it's not for a review. I'd, you know, Yeah. get Michelle to do it, us three. There were, oh, yeah, it would be fun to film mm. a Let's Play. Uh, now, there were a lot of sports questions. Oh. Eh. And, and yeah. so every time it was like, I don't know. Yeah. And, you know, you got lucky sometimes. Yeah. Uh, have you watched 13 Reasons Why on Netflix? No. This is another Brian Paul type show. All right. It's like some girl kills herself and then like it's 13 episodes about why. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Very, very, very sad. Individual or all the same perspective? I, I mean... No, it's... Uh, it, I, I don't want to like ruin anything because it's actually a, a really well done story. Yeah. Uh, but it's... it's So one girl kills herself and then and then one person yeah. uh, is basically told the story of like the last, you know, few weeks or whatever of her life. And okay. every episode focuses on another reason why she killed herself. All right, okay. Uh, it is... It's intense, man. Like, oh, geez. I'm not trying to bring the show down, but like, if you like dark and depressing emo type crap, <laughs> I'm like, this might be the show for you. It's on Netflix, and I, I have a hard time getting into new shows. Yeah, because like, it's it's a commitment. It is. You know, you have to learn characters' names and yeah. what their motivations are, and especially when it's not all released at the same time, like Netflix has done to us in our short attention spans and yeah. our you know quick fix. You know, like speaking of new shows, American Gods. On uh, what channel is that on? Stars. I really, really want to watch that. American premiered, Gods. Yeah, premiered last night and uh, got great reviews, and I really want to watch it. Can you give me the elevator pitch? I don't know anything about this show. Uh, it just, I honestly do what I normally do. So I one trailer, put myself on media blackout, and read a review. And the review seemed really intriguing that the story was way more. I was already hooked on the trail. It just seems like old gods and new gods in setting of America in some sort of battle. I don't know. Some sort of mysterious thing. I, I really don't know. Okay. I'm very excited to no, find out. No, it's fine. I'm sure I'll put the trailer down below here. And Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. On stars. Same channel as Ash vs. Evil Dead. Right on. Yeah. Which I also haven't watched. Hmm. Man, I got a lot of shit to watch. You do. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, also, uh, this week, Nintendo being Nintendo, yeah, announced their new portable handheld, the new yeah. Nintendo 2DS XL. Yeah. It's fucking, I'm done. You know, hey, well, it's to be expected. Constant releases of the same things, just slight modifications, and people buy it. But, but even more importantly than that. The Switch is their new portable. I know. What are they doing? Well, they still don't want to lose that audience. You know how they are. The yeah. DS audience. And that's a faithful, sometimes doesn't stray out of nothing but DS type of clientele. You yeah. Know? Yeah. They don't delve into the platform, you know, console at home or anything like that. They just stay in those handhelds playing their, you know, little search games and Pony collecting shit. I don't know. Ooh, I'm going on a rant. Pony collecting shit. <laughs> yes, I might buy one. No, that that's funny because when I first saw the announcement, I was like, I was like, you have got to fucking be kidding me. Yeah. Like this is 
like this is Nintendo being so Nintendo. Yeah. I can't even like I can't even have a reaction. Yeah. Right? I'm just like this. No other company on the face of the planet would ever do something like this. Yeah. And then at the and then at the, by the very end of the announcement, I was like, I'd buy that. <laughs> That's <laughs> what they do. Right? Somehow, they always get you. How many DSs do you own? You know how many I own, for God's sakes, right? Like, have I owned or do I currently own? Currently own. I think I only own two. Really? All right. Yeah, I saw my, I have my I have my Game Boy Advance SP. Yeah. But then I have a, an actual GBA, no, uh, an actual, no, I have a th- 3DS XL. Mm-hmm. And maybe a, probably a DS Lite around here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, still not bad. Why, what, what, do you have like a collection of these things? Well, I then I, I always keep my consoles. Yeah, I, so I got my oh, my yeah. regular Game Boy. I do have uh, Game Boy Advance, two of those, a see through one and a black one. Oh, without the backlit screen. Yeah, without oh, the backlit those were screen. Rough. Then I got the other, the fold kind SP, the SP. with that's the, the backlit best screen. One. Yeah, that's the one I kept. Um, I have a regular DS. Then I have a, a DS Lite. Then I have what was after the DS Lite. It was a slightly bigger one? I don't remember. DS Lite XL, and then there was a DSi. I had the DSi. Oh, jeez. And then I have the 3DS, then I have the 3DS XL, and the 3DS XL <laughs> Zelda. What? Zelda one. You could have put your kid through college. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Wow, that's insane. Stupid. And it's like, yeah. brrr, I mean, I stopped at the 3DS XL Zelda one, which came out, I believe, the same day as PlayStation 4 did. Oh, um, really? Yeah. And that was the last one. Because I had to get a Zelda one. Yeah. It's pretty sweet, you know? Uh, anytime a new one comes out, like I remember there was ones with like a cool, with cool Yoshi uh, shells and <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm always like, oh, I really need that. And I was like, no, I no, don't. I don't. No, no, absolutely not. Mm-mm. I don't know. Uh, another weird, another weird Nintendo announcement. Uh, but that's about it. Yeah. 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 So what do you think? Is that, uh, is that the weekly wrap-up? I think it's a fucking wrap. All right. Yeah. That was the weekly wrap-up. Make sure you come back tomorrow for the best 20 minutes of your week video game, true or false. False. Bam. Uh, and uh, again, it'll just be us all week. But uh, yes, you know, send that, send that sweet, sweet. I was about to. Man, I, do titties. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to quote some other, some a different podcast on accident. I'm stealing their lines. Ooh. Yeah, make sure you send your love to uh, to Michelle Barracchioni, the second Kira yes. ninety on Twitter. Bam. All right, we love you all. See you tomorrow. Ciao. do this every week without her <laughs> <laughs> no i'm kidding <laughs> i'm kidding although that's probably gonna <coughs> stay in the bonus after footage. yeah bonus right. yeah we really should we really yeah. should yeah. yeah so i guess i that, don't mind guys <laughs> <laughs> so i guess all that uh you know uh antifreeze in our coffee has been doing the trick oh man i saw a uh what what was it what's the show um Forensic Files. Oh, that's a great one. I watched. Yeah. You saw that episode? No, but this I mean that sl- show. He was Forensic th- th- Files. There was a guy who was slowly trying to poison his girlfriend by like putting it's like been a, a lot teaspoon. Of them. Yeah, yeah, methodically, so they don't really build up kind of anything in the system or anything. Yeah, yet, but it always happens. Ah, oh, so gross. Yeah. All right. Lose their teeth. You know, things happen. Uh, uh, nothing tastes right. Right. <laughs> I'm always convinced whoever I'm dating is secretly trying to kill Killing me. Killing you. Yeah. yeah.